Budapest, an amazing metropolis, not only for its residents, but millions of visitors, with its beauty, historical and cultural values. The city of the Danube's bridges, coffee shops, the famous Thermobars, And at last but not least, the City of Secrets. Just a few hundred meters away from the Margaret Bridge, on the Frankenleu Street, a small group of divers appear from behind the old walls of the Lukács bars. The surprised car drivers ask themselves, what are the divers doing here? Among the two and a half million residents, there are just a very few aware that right here, below the old cobblestones of Budapest, lies one of the largest and deepest thermal cave systems of the world. A small part of the cave has been known since the beginning of the last century. Under the direction of the experienced and well-known speleologist and cave diver, Sandor Kalinovich, these passages have been explored and were originally mapped in the 70s. Together with his team, he takes charge of the condition of the pipe system that carries thermal water into the pools of the famous Lukács bath. They examine water quality and collect precious information about the formation of the thermal caves. This system, with a length of 480 meters and a depth of 36 meters, does not rate among the largest cave system of the world. Nevertheless, it attracted many divers from all over Europe. In thought, let's put on your diving gear and have a look at the cave inside. <laughs> a twin set of cylinders with regulators is considered mandatory for a cave diver. Here in the safest section of the cave system, with air pockets and easy navigation, our camera team has made an exception to that rule in order to ease the handling of the heavy camera equipment. Opposite to the Lukács bars under the Jozsef hill, one can find a small, clean thermal lake fed by a natural thermal spring. The question arises, where does the spring get its water from? Just below the hill, one will see a crack that runs to a depth of 10-16 meters. Earlier, one could enter from here the bowels of the hill, 
Today, through an artificial entrance, visitors can step directly into the water filling up the cave. Descending along the left hand side, in the very first passage, we will soon find a narrow opening that leads to a small room, where the remains of hundreds of shells can be observed on the wall. A little further, once we pass through the narrow opening between the pipeline and the low roof, we can continue our journey in more spacious galleries. Following the main arm, we are passing high, narrow, transversal passages. Most of them have air spaces. We reach the spacious Dolphin Hall, where once we ascended to the surface, we can observe the traces of earlier water levels. Swimming just a few meters ahead, we reach the black wall, where both the pipeline and the passage end. Turning left, we can continue downwards in a steep gallery. Moving forward just a few meters, we may experience a significant drop in the water temperature as well as decrease in visibility, as here the warm water rushing up from the depths mixes with the colder cast water. At this point, the roof suddenly rises high, the side walls move away and the light of the torches disappears in the distance. This is the giant hall. If we descend along the wall on the right hand side, a dark area catches the eye. Approaching closer, we recognize millions of buried crystals. A few meters deeper, the passage appears to end. The walls around the giant rock mass form a bottleneck. Descending on the top of the rock, we will see the corridor leading further down. Descending through the well hole to a depth of 22 meters, we reach a room. To the left, through a fantastically indented passage, first we arrive to a small room and soon to the deepest gallery of the cave, at a depth of 36 meters. The Istvan hole is covered with fake mud. From here, one could directly reach the surface if the diver is slim enough and able to ascend 36 meters throwing his equipment in front of him in a passage with varying widths. Our journey ends here, in the Istvan Hall. Turning around, we can leave the cave, returning via the route we entered. In the last three decades, this unique formation of nature filled many divers with admiration. No one could imagine that the Molnarianos cave could have more surprises to store.
By the time of the constructions of the Lukács bath, the water has been conveyed through a pipe system directly into the swimming pools. As the water of the lake has been exposed to pollution, the pipeline had to be placed in the cave system to ensure an outstanding water quality. During the maintenance constructions of the last few years, Shandor Kalinovic and his team noticed some water movement in areas where this was not previously observed. They noticed water flow through a narrow hole that could be widened with little effort. After opening the hole in 4 2002, a monumental cave system that considering the local geological conditions was unimaginable has opened its doors. The size of these new passages is not comparable to the already known areas as the earlier discovered section would fit into a single room of the newly discovered cave system. The water capacity of the newly explored passages is several hundred thousand of cubic meters. One can enter the new area through the hole in the existing black wall. Once we struggled through a long passage downwards, with various widths, we will enter a giant cathedral. With its length of 80 meters, height of 25 meters, and a width of between 16 and 26 meters, it provides a spectacular sight. When we ascend to the surface, we can observe its air-filled dome, while continuously breathing from our regulator, as the air is not safe for breathing due to its high carbon dioxide content. The cathedral divides into several arms, forming a labyrinth of tunnels. As these passages have been formed along cracks, they spread like a net, and typically their vertical masses are larger. The very first task of exploration is measuring the path. What makes mapping even more difficult is that sediments settle down the walls, are stirred up by the exhaled air bubbles, which can dramatically reduce visibility.
The safe movement of the Tiber is also endangered. Therefore, Shandor Kalinovich and his team have secured a complete guideline system through the entire cave to ensure the diver always finds his way back to the exit. During explorations, the distance between the entrance and research points have increased, and this leads to a prolonged time spent underwater. Today, a dive of several hours in length is not rare, causing various technical difficulties. The time a diver can spend on the water is dependent primarily on the quantity of the necessary breathing gas. In smaller depths, the cave divers use nitrox, a breathing gas with reduced percentage of nitrogen, to make it possible to stay on the water longer. Deeper than 40 meters, a mixture of hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen is used to increase safety, however the cost of the dive will also increase. During exploration, the research team have reached the depth of 82 meters and the total length of the explored passages have exceeded 3.5 kilometers. As it is difficult to estimate the real length of the thermal caves that have been formed along cracks, a tremendous amount of work and dives are still required to explore the entire system. The water treasure of the cave hiding below the public utilities and buildings is extremely sensitive. A single leak or small crack in one of the drain pipes or sewers could pollute the entire underwater system. Shandar Kalinovich hopes that the tremendous amount of work invested, as well as the results of their research, will ensure that future generations will also benefit from the healing effects of the clean water of the thermal springs.